Franchising friends and family, Katherine Monson here, chair of the International Franchise Association. Somebody asked me a question last week. They said, if there was a drug with no negative side effects that helped you eat less, exercise more, sleep better, be happier and cope with stress better, would you take it? And I said, no. No, that's not what I said. I said, yeah, what's the name of that drug? Well, here's the great thing. It's not a drug, it is a practice. It is the practice of how to create and cultivate an attitude of gratitude. There is research that shows that those thankful people, those people with gratitude, those people with an attitude of gratitude, eat healthier, exercise more, have more energy, are happier, cope with stress better, are calmer and more composed and more fun to be around. I want to be one of those folks. So I want to share with you five ways to develop an attitude of gratitude. Number one, write it down. Keep a gratitude journal. Keep a journal about my blessed life and write in it every day. And on a tough day, go back and read prior entries, right? That has really helped me. I've been keeping a gratitude journal for decades. Very, very helpful to me. So number one, write it down. Number two, talk about it. One of the, the family traditions we have at my house is at Thanksgiving, we before we serve ourselves, we stand in a circle, we all hold hands, and we each share something from the prior year that we're thankful about. Well, heck, we should probably be doing that every Sunday night at Sunday dinner, right? The more frequently we can talk about the things we're grateful for in our lives, the things we're thankful for, the more it fills our spirit with that and reinforces our attitude of gratitude. So number two, talk about it. Number three, meditate. Or if you can't get into that, because I've always kind of felt like I was a failure at meditation, think about regularly all you have to be thankful for. Or just take a couple minutes, a couple times a day, and just focus on that spirit of thankful thankfulness. Who are you thankful for that day? What situation are you thankful for that day? Was it a beautiful sunrise? Was it a gorgeous bird that you saw feeding in your backyard? Or was it a friend who really came and inspired you, right? So spending a little bit of time every day, a little bit in the morning, a little bit in the evening, just thinking about the things you're grateful for can be very, very helpful. So number three, meditate or think about the things you're grateful for. Number four, express it. When you can reach out to someone who's made a positive impact in your life and let them know that they've done that, not only is that a blessing to you, but you're passing that blessing on. So what I try to do is, is there someone who's inspired me? Is there somebody who's mentored me? Who's somebody? Is there somebody who's being a good friend? And take a moment and write them a note. You know, every single one of us have 86,400 hundred seconds in a day and let's make sure we use some of those seconds to say thank you and that I appreciate you. So number four is express it and number five, seek it. If you want to be thankful, if you want to develop an attitude of gratitude, get around people with that characteristic, right? Some people just bubble over with enthusiasm and gratitude for life. Hang out with those folks and model that behavior. So number five, seek it. So we've talked about write it down, talk about it, meditate or think about it, express it and seek it. So those are five ways to develop an attitude of gratitude because grateful people have more energy, are happier, cope with stress better, are calmer and just more fun to be around. Thanks for spending a couple minutes with me.